Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Rico Richardson and welcome to the biggest source of Dark Table Online. I'm very happy with that. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to anonymize people using Dark Table. So let's go. And this is the image that we're going to work with. It's an image I've grabbed from Pixabay. I'll make sure to put a link in the description down below. And there's three modules that we're going to use. We're going to use the Soften, the Bloom, and the Low Pass module. And we're going to start with the Soften module and I'm going to activate it. And now you see that it already started to look a little bit different. And what I want to do is I want to keep the size on 50% because I think that looks pretty good enough. But what I do want to do is I can still see these faces and recognize them. So I'm going to change the mix from the center to the right side. There you go. And now the faces are not recognizable anymore. But now we've got the entire image looking like this. And it's something we can't use because we just want to target certain faces. And for that we're going to use a mask. So I'm going to click this symbol, draw on mask. And because the head is usually shaped like an ellipse, I'm going to use the ellipse mask. So I'm going to add an ellipse. I'm just going to place it here because that's where I saw a face. And now this face has been blurred out. You can't recognize it anymore. I'm going to hit the control. I'm going to hit the second ellipse. And I'm just going to place it over this woman. And I'm going to add a third. I'm going to place it over this guy. And I'm going to use another one. And I'm going to place that over this boy. There you go. So now we've got four faces which has been blurred out. I'm going to click this symbol, show and edit mask elements. Because that way the mask is now gone or the mask elements. And you can now only see the blurred parts. So let me close that one down. And there you go. That's the first way to anonymize people in Darktable. I'm going to show you guys the second way to do this. I'm going to deactivate the softer module to make sure that everything is back to normal. I'm going to open up the bloom one and I'm going to activate it. And I'm going to keep the size and the threshold as is. But once again, I'm going to increase the strength again till I don't recognize the faces anymore. I can still see this one, but that's okay because I'm not using that one. I might need to, yeah, I need to change the size a little bit because I still saw this gentleman's face. Now, I can't really tell where the faces are anymore. But don't worry, we can click the drawn mask and we can reuse the masks that we have used before. So we're going to click this, no mask used. We're going to hit ellipse 1 and ellipse 2 and ellipse 3 and ellipse 4. And now they have popped up. And as you can see, the faces are not recognizable anymore. And this is another way to anonymize people in Darktable. It's not my preferred way because it makes everything white and it doesn't look good in my opinion. I like the soften way much, much better. But let me show you guys the last way to do this. So I'm going to deactivate the Bloom module and I'm going to use the Low Pass module. I'm going to activate it and things are already a lot blurred. I can't really tell who's who anymore. If you want to, you can increase the radius just a little bit. And the same principle applies to this module as well. We're going back to the drawn mask. And we're going to reuse the masks that we have used before. So ellipse 3, ellipse 4. There you go. I'm going to click this symbol shown and edit mask elements to make sure that that's gone. I'm going to close that one down. And there you go. So now the faces have been blurred again. They are now anonymous. And you can't tell which is what or who's who or whatever. So this is my preferred way together with the softer module. And that's the quickest way to do this. I hope you guys like it. Let me know in the comment section down below. If you would like to see more of me, please click this video. It'll take you to a playlist of Darktable. And if you haven't subscribed already, I would appreciate it. If you do, you can do so by hitting this button. And for this week, there's only one more thing left for me to say, which is make love to the like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Hit that bell button to be the first to be notified when I drop in a video. And until next time. Doei!